change in the way the world looks at the United States. Carol Costello's here in the Situation Room. Carol, what is this all about? Well, I don't know if you realize this, Wolf, but uh, back in 2003, when America invaded Iraq, people coming into America to visit from overseas fell by 10 million people. This is an effort to get them to come back by saying we're nice, really. Welcome. It is our government's latest effort to repair America's image overseas, a seven-minute film produced and paid for by Disney. <laughs> Welcome. The film will play in embassies and at American airports as international visitors wait in line at customs. That Disney is collaborating with the U.S. government is not unprecedented. During World War II, it did its part. This time, Disney doesn't vilify the other side. Welcome. It welcomes it. The effort was spearheaded by Karen Hughes, the Undersecretary of Public Diplomacy at the State Department. Someone not exactly universally admired for her past efforts. In 2005, she went on an image-building world tour and was met with distrust in countries like Turkey, where anger at the Iraq war trumped every friendly overture. It is a really big job. I think she's done some good but uh, we, we need to do a lot more. A big job, says Dale. In many countries, anti-American sentiment because of the war is at an all-time high. And not just in the Middle East. According to a Pew Research poll earlier this year, only 37% of Germans have a favorable view of America. 39% of the French do. And in Spain, only 23% have a favorable view of America. And that's one reason international tourism to the United States is still lower than it was before 9-11. We need to do more in terms of explaining what we're doing. Uh, and, and we need to show a welcoming face to the world, not a defensive one, which unfortunately we have tended to do in recent years. The answer for Hughes turned to the private sector, to businesses like Disney, who know how to market a product, in this case America, Hughes told us. This video conveys a clear message of welcome and quietly communicates our greatest strength, the great spirit and diversity of our people. Whether it trumps images of a war most of the world opposes, well, even Hughes's office admits it's a small step in a long-term strategy. But you know, critics say dislike of Americans is not because of our image and because it's been tainted, but because people overseas don't like the president's policies. And until those policies change, there will be no great love for the USA. Carol, there's a long history of entertainment companies helping the U.S. government do these kinds of things. Yeah, I showed you a little bit about of that in the piece, but absolutely, Wolf, during World War II, lots of cartoons were, were produced to promote the war effort. It wasn't just Disney either. Take a look at Warner Brothers cartoons um, from 1944. This is starring Daffy Duck. Take a look. Oh, how times have changed. Now Disney is producing, producing films showing how nice Americans are and but how welcoming they are. We are nice. We are nice, yeah, absolutely. So it's an easy assignment. <laughs> Thanks very much, sure. Carol Costello. There's a